Hi, we've been recently discussing how to earn a meeting. In this week's show, we'll be exploring the best B2B voicemail script for complex sales as a part of that process. In complex B2B, a full-time and well-skilled outbound cold caller might manage one or two conversations a day. A sales professional that gives cold calling only one or two hours a day might be lucky to have one or two calls per week where they've actually conversed with the right person. How do we improve not the conversion rate, but the conversation rate? If your marketing is really delivering for you, then Perhaps you might be enjoying 25% of your total revenue coming from marketing generated leads. The other 75% are coming from existing customers. And if your sales guys have great networks with the right product category or buyers from the right product category, then they might be generating that 75%. Now, if you don't have both marketing and well-oiled networked sales machine or a great install base, then cold calling is probably in your mix somewhere. There are six major ideas that I think we need to have in mind before forming a great script, which I will offer you at the end of this show. The first tip is to be clear about your strategy, and that requires us to do two things. Identify really clearly the problem that you want to become the best in the world at solving. And two, identify really clearly who the buyer is that you should be talking with at all. What kind of business is affected by the chosen problem and who within the business is most likely to be feeling that pain. So start by pointing in the right direction. The second tip is to make your message personal. I've covered that ad nauseum. I'm not going to cover it again now other than to say that before making a call, the caller, you, needs to understand why the prospect needs to return the call, not the other way around. I'm drawing here in what, on what is called the valid business reason that comes from Miller Hyman's conceptual selling. Check out some of our earlier blogs on that topic using a link that I'll leave you in the show notes below. The third tip is to be realistic and here are a few basic numbers for you. A full-time dedicated caller is going to get through about 60 call attempts a day. Now, frankly, if you're doing your VBR research, rather than just calling, you'll be getting through far fewer, but we tend to like marketing to do the VBR research so the caller can just focus on calling. Let's imagine for a moment that marketing's done the homework for you and the caller is just making the calls. They'll get through about 60 call attempts a day, but it takes four call attempts on average to get through to a mid-level manager and eight call attempts to get through to a senior manager. Depending on who you're talking to, you'd be lucky to have one or two conversations per hour. One or two real conversations from all those call attempts. Now, 70% of the time that you make a call attempt, you're going to get through to voicemail. And that's why we're talking about voicemail today. The fourth tip tacks onto the back end of that third tip somewhat, and that is to forget that you think that they might not call you back and instead sell why they should call you back. They won't call you back if you leave an awful voicemail. If you leave a decent voicemail, you'll get a number of return calls. The whole point of this is that if you get good at leaving voicemail and you can increase the number of callbacks that you get, you're going to decrease the number of calls that you need to make in the first place. You're getting into a lot more conversations. My next tip is to position yourself well for a second prize. Now, imagine that you make a call attempt and you do leave a voicemail. If that voicemail simply says, here's my name, interesting ideas, call me back. You've done nothing to position either you or your company nor did you manage to bring the problem to the surface. Clearly, you want them to call you back, but what if they don't? Is that it? 
Did you fail? What you need in the very least is for them to understand that you're the person they should talk to about that problem should they ever have it. If they call you back, great. If they don't, but hear a super clear point about the problem you're good at solving from the voicemail messages and from your email nurtures and from your website and from your social media posting, etc., they're going to connect the company name with the problem and that's an important connection. We call that positioning in category. The final tip is don't make it up on the fly. When you're making a call, it's really hard to get through to the person. It's really hard to have a good conversation with them. And frankly, it's just as hard to leave a good voicemail. So don't make it up. What you need is a great process for building a really compelling voicemail that we can heavily customize based on the VBR information and that gets a good callback reaction. That's what we're going to look at now. The script I'm going to offer now is inspired by a guy called Michael Bedone from SalesBuzz. I'll include a link to his site in the show notes. We've modified what he spoke of in a webinar I attended slightly. We've taken the principle that he was espousing, but we've modified it on two bases. Firstly, we don't want to talk about any problem, but the problem. You know the problem I'm talking about. The one that marketing and sales have wrestled together and identified as the absolute best problem to focus on because it rewards you really richly if you focus on it and you've committed to focus on it. You're obsessively focused on it and working on new ways to solve the problem. In other words, it's the focus for the whole business. That's the first one. Not a problem, but the problem. Don't know what I'm talking about? You haven't identified that problem yet? Stop the video and fix that. The second change we made to Bedone's recommendations is this notion of personalising it to respect the valid business reason or VBR. If you're doing your homework really well, or better yet, if marketing does the homework for you and they've identified how that problem is likely to play out based on the actual company you're calling, then you can make that problem far more real for the person you're calling. On these two bases, we made a few changes. However, it is based on the work done by Michael Bedoni. Check out the link in the show notes. Here's the script that we'll recommend you use for voicemail. John, this is Hugh McFarlane from AlignMe. The reason for my call is that I saw that you're planning for a launch of your new data integration service simultaneously in five markets. I have to imagine you're concerned about having a plan that will work across these markets and having a whole team, marketing as well as sales, from the five regions bought into that plan. I've got a lot of experience building multi-stakeholder go-to-market plans in 20 countries. I have an idea on how to possibly help you avoid some of the more common disconnects. I wanted to see if it made sense for us to have a quick chat to find out a little more. I can be reached on 03 8595 8400. Again, my name is Hugh McFarlane from AlignMe. My number is 03 8595 8400. Thanks, John. Key in that message that I managed to convey why he needs to talk with me relatively succinctly. Now, you might do a better job than I just did for that script, getting it even shorter, but it was relatively short. It showed that I've done some homework on his company, that I have some insights and understanding into the problem and how to solve or avoid it. The message also gave my name, my company's name and my phone number twice just in case. I spoke earlier about sales and marketing needing to agree the problem and who most has it. Now, Funnel plan is a great way for you to get sales and marketing to identify and agree the objectives, strategy, velocity and tactics that you'll use together to earn the right to serve new businesses. Don't have a funnel plan? Get a free one at funnelplan.com. Go get a free one now, or click on the little I on your screen, wherever it is, or just visit funnelplan.com. Lots more line up for you for next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing.